Well, folks, today we have some interesting things about Nintendo Switch 2. Seemingly a major, major, major feature confirmed. And I'm using that word directly here for the Nintendo Switch 2. Uh, we don't know the particulars of this feature, but just knowing that it exists is really, really cool. We also have a little bit of a for fun conversational look at what is very clearly a rumor, but... The reason I'm giving this a little bit more thought and we'll talk about it at the time is simply because there is other whispers happening at places where information has come out before about a reveal happening towards the end of October for Nintendo Switch 2. But again, that's not the main brux here. That's not the stuff that, you know, that, that that's very grain of salt. We're really actually focused on what we now have confirmed for Nintendo Switch 2. That is the main topic for today's video. Uh, before we dive into that, I want to let you guys know we're on a road to 140,000 subscribers. You want to stay up to date on everything Switch 2, all you got to do is tune in right here at Nintendo Prime. So go ahead and subscribe and let's get right into it. Because first we have this post by Centro Leaks. So this comes from the Terra Leak, the Pokemon Terra Leak. And while we got confirmations in it, by the way, Game Freak has confirmed that this leak is real and happened. Uh, Central Leaks is already saying ounce. Switch 2 seems to be using the same tools and ROM format Nintendo currently uses for Switch 1. The ROMs are still NSPs, but obviously they have new encryption keys that only Nintendo has. Now, what does any of this mean? There are two things. One, this explains why Nintendo is shutting down Nintendo Switch emulators, because of course you're gonna shut down Nintendo Switch emulators when you're using the same sort of file format because it could be very easy to turn those Switch emulators into Switch 2 emulators. But if Switch 2 and its file format is very similar to Switch, then what does that mean? Backwards compatibility. That's what we're saying is confirmed here today. And the thing is, this isn't the first time that we've had hints at this thing happening. First, uh, we have this patent from Nintendo. This was a cartridge patent. They updated this. It's technically the Nintendo Switch cartridge patent, but they updated this not too long ago back in, uh, you know, they applied for this again back in June. Uh, and so this cartridge format has been updated. And so it kind of inferred that, yeah, Nintendo may indeed be looking at uh, just... How do, how do we put it? Looking at the idea of using a very similar pin layout, very similar stuff where, okay, the cartridges might be backwards compatible. But we had rumors about backwards compatibility going a ways back. First, we have the Switch accessory manufacturer back in April. Uh, MOBA pad go out here, and there's a bunch of stuff in this rumor mill. But it says Switch 2 has backwards compatibility with Switch 1 cartridges, but Switch 2 cartridges will be different and won't fit in a Switch 1. And at the time, we're like, oh, I think 3DS to DS, right? But that's not where this all stops, because actually, if we think about it, the rumor on backwards compatibility goes back even further, all the way back to Nate Drake, otherwise known as Nate the Hate, who said back compat is present to partners and testing is underway. The major unknown seems to be the extent at which and such enhancements may provide. So basically back then he's being like, hey, look, backwards compatibility is there. And we really shouldn't be surprised when Nintendo told us themselves that Nintendo accounts, which we presume includes Nintendo Switch Online, will be forward compatible with Nintendo Switch 2. But again, backwards compatibility wasn't really confirmed. This is the first time based on the Terra leak that we can definitively say backwards compatibility is confirmed now if you're wondering if this means we're going to get enhanced ports and stuff like that that i don't know uh, i don't know if they're going to do deluxe versions of games i don't know if you just put your switch one cartridge in a switch two it'll suddenly just play better that stuff we don't know i will note that like on playstation 5 games don't necessarily play better not all of them anyways there are some that are enhanced some that are not uh, and all of those enhancements required patches so i'm not really gonna sit here and be like oh the games are just gonna run better on nintendo switch 2 maybe the ones with locked frame rates but it kind of depends on how they're doing the emulation of switch one or how they're handling that so i'm not gonna sit here and make those sort of promises it's kind of like back when uh somebody told me and they came at me pretty hard when we found out that there was going to be future bluetooth headset support for nintendo switch because of data mining of the firmware and somebody's like oh yeah that doesn't confirm anything as an example like you know will there be microphone support and i'm like well i don't know if there'll be microphone support uh that's not something we can confirm right now see fake news nintendo didn't announce bluetooth headsets and then two months later nintendo 
revealed that Bluetooth had some support was coming to Nintendo Switch. It's kind of like, yeah, we can confirm a certain thing exists. We just can't confirm particulars. So in this case, yeah, we can confirm backwards compatibility is going to be on Nintendo Switch 2, thanks to the Terra leak. But what we can't confirm, of course, is whether or not there will be enhancements to games. Now I'm actually recording the second half of this video again, so you guys never saw the original one, because of course we're talking about a rumor of rumors here, but there's something that happened over the last hour that uh, might have added credence to this rumor and makes it more like we should spend more time talking about it. What are we talking about? Well, first off, uh, there was some stuff happening over on uh, Family Boards and Reset Era where there's whispers going on with journalists about a late October Nintendo Switch 2 reveal and that they've known this or thought this for months. So that's whatever. Whispers, third hand information at this point, fourth hand for you guys. Okay, whatever. But that was why we originally were about to talk about what we we're about to talk about. Something else has happened and we're gonna show you after we talk about it, because this next thing we're about to talk about comes literally from 4chan. And normally 4chan we would ignore. And this was just supposed to be a four fun conversation in the original recording. Now we got to take it a little bit more serious. So Necrofilipo Lima put this up here uh, and we have this 4chan report. And there's something that just happened that made this way more interesting. So this was posted hours ago. I mean, you can even see you know, earlier today, this was posted at 8.09, right? This is this was hours ago. Um, it was on 4chan before this post. Anyway, it says, don't ask how I know this, but Switch 2 is being revealed next Wednesday. It's literally just called Nintendo Switch 2. It's apparently a three minute video showing off the new system. First game you will see for the system is a brand new Mario Kart game. The game has characters from Zelda, F-Zero, Star Fox, and Pikmin as new racers. It has an eight player split screen mode, which if that's true, that's a little weird, but all right. Uh, a new look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond showing playable Silux and a multiplayer mode, a remake of Kid Icarus Uprising. There's tiny peeks at new 3D Mario and Animal Crossing shows a bunch of third party games, including Monster Hunter Wilds and Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. The system releases in quote May sometime around Golden Week in Japan, which is the same month as Super Nintendo World opening in Orlando full reveal in January and February. Now, you might go, well, Nate, what has happened to make this somewhat believable? Well, we never really knew that last part there where it says, you know, same month as Super Nintendo World opening in Orlando. We weren't really sure when Super Nintendo World was opening in Orlando. It was just first half of 2025. We didn't have any exact details until one hour ago at the time of recording, Nintendo of America told us when it's opening. Here it is, big news. May 22nd, 2025, Super Nintendo World, one of five immersive worlds at Universal Epic Universe theme park officially opens at Universal Orlando Resort. And you can see this was posted at 9 a.m. The other one was posted at 8 a.m. and obviously on 4chan before that. So uh, this might have just landed credence for this rumor because we did not know Super Nintendo World was opening in Orlando in May. We didn't know that. Uh, and now Nintendo announced it. So seemingly this 4chan rumor got something in it correct. Could this have been a lucky guess? Well, of course it could have been, but also maybe it just legitimized this report. That's, that's what I'm looking at here. This might've just legitimized this rumor. So now I got to take this a bit more serious. Originally, I just kind of left this as a, hey guys, we're just going to let you guys talk about this. You guys speculate away. You decide we're going to know next week, Wednesday, if it's true. Now we're like, uh, actually, now we have reason to maybe take this a bit more serious. So I'm going to give a few extra thoughts that I didn't in my original recording because I didn't really take this that serious. I just thought it was a for fun exercise. It still might be, but now something happened that makes us want to talk about it more. So it's apparently a three minute video. So kind of a shorter video, even shorter than the original Switch reveal. The idea of them blasting off a new Mario Kart game is like the first thing you see really heavily suggests that it is the launch game. Uh, is Mario Kart a good launch game? Can you launch a platform with Mario Kart? Can you sell a platform with Mario Kart? I don't know. Uh, Mario Kart's always been a system seller, but it's never been a launch game before. So this would be pretty bold of Nintendo to be like, hey, it's our best selling game on Switch. The new one's clearly gonna be the best seller. So let's put it out at launch and sell systems. Nintendo bundles it every holiday. So they do think it's their biggest system seller. So I can see the logic where they go, yeah, let's launch with Mario Kart. Um, now, 
that also would support the theory of Breath of the Wild 4K, maybe also being a launch game because it gives something else for core fans to play. That being said, uh, the game has characters from Zelda, F-Zero, Star Fox, and Pikmin. Obviously, they've already done like the Pikmin and Zelda thing. They just didn't really add a lot of characters from those games, so I would presume there would be an expanded roster there. I would assume you'd have a two to three characters from F-Zero. Throwing Star Fox in kind of makes me feel like there's a Star Fox game in the works. That's Why would you put Star Fox? That's like a really random IP to put in here. So if you're gonna put Star Fox characters in, then Star Fox is coming back? I hope so. Uh, eight player split screen mode is kind of like the only red flag in this whole thing. I don't really understand the point of an eight player sc split screen mode, uh, unless you're on a really big screen TV, you know, like the one behind me, uh, it's gonna be very hard for eight people to see what the hell they're doing. But maybe uh, there's some caveats to this. Maybe it's like, I don't know, four players on one screen. Four, no, it says eight player split screen. So I don't really know. I don't see that even being usable on the Switch screen, although I don't foresee eight people gathering around a little tiny screen anyways. Uh, so it's clearly meant for TV mode to do eight player split screen mode. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a new feature that won't get used that often, but it's there. Or like maybe it's one of those, you know how you have like friends over and you're playing Mario Kart and you always have like that fifth or sixth friend that like have to wait their turn to play. Hey, you don't have to wait your turn. Hop in. We could do six player split screen. So I guess maybe it's there as an option. I can see six player split screen being perfectly playable. So there's that. Uh, when we look back at this, though, you know, a new look at Metro Prime 4 Beyond is really cool because that would mean that it is cross gen, uh, which is really cool and playable Silux. I mean, we saw Silux in the original reveal trailer. The fact that maybe he's not an enemy, but rather an ally that to me is, is is pretty cool i would like to see that happen and the multiplayer mode that is something that has been speculated on for some time multiplayer is not new to metroid uh, a remake of kid icarus uprising is literally sakurai's dream <laughs> sakurai's been wanting a remake of that thing for quite some time um and then tiny peaks at a new 3d mario and animal crossing now my take on that is if you're only getting tiny peaks then it's not a launch game it's probably the holiday game right but then is Animal Crossing also coming out next year? Because that would be huge. If you have Animal Crossing, Mario Kart, and a new 3D Mario within like the first six months of the platform, that is a lot of bangers. And you might go, Animal Crossing, really? Well, yeah, they released it in 2020. They stopped making content for it in 2021. So it will have had like four years of full development, five years probably of actual development. Yeah. I could see that being a thing. Uh, besides that, uh, if you hop back in here, um, obviously, uh, you know, shows a bunch of third-party games, including Monster Hunter Wilds and Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Why those are the two games pointed out and not the other third parties, I don't know. Maybe they're just the ones that this person likes. Um, and then there, there you go with the system releasing in May, which again, supposedly is around Golden Week and same month as a Super Nintendo World opening in Orlando, which again, they could do a huge marketing campaign with Super Nintendo World and Switch 2. Uh, and then there's going to be a full reveal in January slash February, basically meaning that maybe Nintendo hasn't locked in if they're doing it in January or February maybe they have and it'll be shown in the trailer I don't know this to me like seems pretty far-fetched when I originally read it I said you know what it's believable but then how many times have we seen 4chan rumors are a dime a dozen and 4chan has legit stuff happen we've had Nintendo directs leak there we've had June events leak there we've had switch uh, like leaks happen on 4chan hardware leaks so yes 4chan can have some legit leaks but most of the time it's garbage and that's why it's really hard to pay attention to because anyone can post there and anyone can pretend they know something but uh, again, this gains credence because something was just announced by Nintendo that we did not previously know. And that is this May 22nd date when we didn't even know that Super Nintendo World was opening in May. So we'll just have to take this for what it is. We're going to sit back and see what happens. We're going to know pretty soon because it's Wednesday next week. Uh, but obviously, the biggest thing we know for sure is backwards compatibility is confirmed. That's like the biggest part of this video. But now, the second half of the video became longer and bigger and almost its own video because this is crazy. That was just supposed to be a throwaway thing I just tossed in for fun. And that throwaway thing suddenly got a lot more realistic. I guess we'll see. Grain of salt, everyone. I am Nathaniel Rubblejans from Nintendo Prime. I got to go get back to a party, a Mario party. Shout out to Nintendo. They did send me a code for it today. A day late, a dollar short, but you know what? We're going to have a little fun playing some Mario Party Jamboree. Probably do a bonus stream later this weekend. Whew. Catch you guys in the next video, man.